Well, I done been sitting on this King Shark Meg Gear Pack for at least a couple days now, and I figured now's a good time to make a video about it. You're looking at the front of the packaging right now. Pretty simple, bat symbol, big bubble, King Shark Mega Gear Equipment de King Shark. I suppose that's the French, because this is the Canadian version. First edition, first edition. The back of the box right here has the Creature Chaos logo right there. More King Shark, an image of the big bad figure with his headgear on. And you can see here you've got power up and activate. Here's the bottom of the packaging with some simple instructions that show you how to make the armor work with King Shark, just in case you can't figure it out. Here's the most boring gobbledygook in the world with the barcode. And yeah, that's it. Let's open it. And for that, I've got just the thing. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Just the thing. <laughs> Ooh. What's this? I never got one of these with an action figure before. North America 1 800 Customer Care Spinmaster.com. And here's what we get. Nope, there's more emancipation necessary. Hold on. Oh, oh my god, that's loud. Oh, sorry about that. King Shark! King Shark! Shark! You're not cooperating. Please, just stand there like a good little shark. King Shark! And his sharkly armor! Now, you may be wondering why I haven't reviewed the Hammerhead version of King Shark on the channel yet, and that's because, honestly, I prefer this version of King Shark with the great white shark head sculpt rather than the Hammerhead version. This is a very cool looking figure. BTW. You've got his ripped old blue trousers on there, his big muscly pecs with his nipples and his abs down here for days, scars all over the shoulders and just everywhere. This is such a cool looking figure. Let's look at his sharkly face up close and personal. Look at damn day his sharkly teeth hanging out. This is a very cool looking figure and I tell ya, not only do I love this, but I'm actually going to let my little boy play with this, and he is going to love, love, love it. Here's his Sharkly battle suit. That is a rad looking piece of action figure armor. I really think that this is super, super cool. Look at all the details sculpted on there. That is fantastic. Look at the arms with the big blades and the guns. This is, okay, this suit looks very dangerous. Look at him wearing that armor. Oddly enough, I will say that there is no place to put his hands in this armor though. And that is definitely a little strange. Let's look at the pictorial instructions for people who can't read good. Yeah, okay, down like that, they spin forward. Okay, wait a second. Oh, I get it, they go back like that when the helmet is up. So that's the full action right here. You ready for it? This is going to be some mega action. Oh, yeah! Ooh, that, that was a lot less climactic than I thought it was going to be. Alright, let's try that again and see if we can make the action just a little bit more smoother. We're just going to hit the button and we're going to watch King Shark do his thing. And that's it. That's, that's what he does. Still, this is a very cool looking piece right here. If you're wondering about King Shark's articulation, the head obviously just has none. Why? How could there be any? And then the shoulders have those little rounded hinges and they go round and round and round. And then you got the elbows that are 90 degrees and they also have rotation as well. And you've got the groin. He's got some ball joints right there in his groin. He's got the thigh cut and that is it. <laughs> some total of King Shark's articulation. Cool beans, yo. Hey, but guess what? Let's also open up the Joker! Surprise! I bet you didn't think I was going to review him. Ha <laughs> ha! Here's front of the box, same as all the rest of them, it's, you know, nothing new. And then on the back, it's, look at all that gobbledygook that absolutely nobody cares about. And then this just takes up such a small part. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is ridiculous! So much legal gobbledygook. Let's open him up, pull the tab, open it, get the, you just gotta, hold on, I gotta grab my little knife here and just uh, cut it and then cut along the tape there. And there is the trading card that comes on the inside. Let's rip the perforations. Yep, that be the trading card, very cool. Although I still can't really call this a trading card. It looks like something you would have cut off the back of a cereal box back in the 80s or 90s. And here's the figure. Let's just uh, uh, open it carefully. I didn't cut the figure, I promise. Cross my heart, hope to die. Uh, here's the booklet. It tells you exactly what the 
figure. Would you please unfold already? That tells us exactly what the Joker's from. It's got to carefully, surgically get... What's that? Oh, I promise I won't cut your Jimmy. Hold on. Ah, and then we'll just... Uh, oh, he's still got the... Uh, hold on a second. Ah. And of course, we have the triple locker of Joker accessory fun. And the first thing is... It is. It appears to be a boxing glove cannon. Yep, like that one. Secondarily, it is a pink... I thought that was a chicken at first. Nope, it's the wind-up teeth. It's a bomb wind-up teeth. These teeth are the bomb. And finally, he's got... Uh, what are they? What's this? That's... Uh, that. These are Batman gauntlets. Why does Joker come with Batman gauntlets? Is that... Is that, a, is that a mess up? Hang on. Uh, nope. Nope. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. You got the green launcher, the purple boom bomb, except for mine's pink. That's... That's weird. And as you can see, there's the bat gauntlets. Uh, he's supplying Batman with the tools to kick his butt? I'm not really sure. Which means I got this particular quest. The... The fun house, the madhouse. I, what was it called again? Not that it really matters. I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't really pay attention to that stuff anyway. And here's what the Joker looks like. This is a pretty fantastic looking little figure. I like him very much. I like the color palette. I like the tone of purple. I like the green for the hair. I like the green vest and yellow shirt. This is a really neat looking little kid friendly, comic accurate, classic looking Joker. And I like him very much. It would have been neat, though, had they have sculpted the lines into Joker's pants, the pinstripes. That would have been kind of fun. But it is kind of cool that you can't lose Joker's tails. My Superpowers Collection Joker, the first one I got when I was like six, I lost his tails, like, right away. Not a terrible face sculpt. It looks very Joker-ish, albeit in a childish-looking, made-for-children kind of way. And for a kid's toy, it has just the right amount of sculpted detail to say that this is also collector... Oh, oh. I got stuff on my thumb. Did I just go through the whole video with a piece of lunch on my thumb? Did I? Oh, great. I mean, I can deal with the cut. I, you can't change that, but I mean, ah, you can't take me anywhere. Here's Joker with his boxing glove cannon accessory that he comes with. That's really neat, actually. That's probably one of my favorite Joker accessories ever, because that kind of makes sense, and it's not too big, and it's not too small. And there's Joker's pink wind-up teeth bomb. Yep, I suppose that would be the only way he could carry it. And since I've conveniently got Batman here at the table, let's put these here Joker face-pounding gauntlets in Batman's hands so that you can see what they look like. There you go. Although I can't get over the fact that this is how they wear all gloved sort of hand accessories. That's just so strange. Remember with Nightwing? Rather than just giving him his Eskrima sticks, they're like, no, nope, they've got to be gigantic blue oven mitts with these massive batons in his hand. <laughs> I understand they're for kids. I just think it's a strange, but fun, but strange choice. Joker's articulation, you know it. It's got the head that does that. It's, you know, doesn't do very much of that. <laughs> you got the ar armpits that have the hinges and the arms go around and do like this and go up. And you got the hinges also in the elbows that do the 90 degrees and then the spin. You got the ball joints right there in the groin. Of course, you can see there's a thigh cut. You know what that's going to do? And then he's got the knees and the knees also go around and around in a circle like that. And that is the sum total of Joker's articulation. Anywho, I am so in love with this action figure line and I would give this King Shark and this Joker a solid 8.5 out of 10 for an action figure line that has been designed and made for children, these guys are just absolutely fantastic. I really, really like what Spin Master's doing, and I say it every single time, but how can you not? Anyway, super friends, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hopefully you found today's video to be an interesting, insightful, entertaining waste of time, and if you have, then I have done my job. I know we're all stuck in the house, bored, but eventually we will get through this, and we will see a brighter, happier, more positive day. And until then, please take care of yourself and each other and those around you, and I will see you next time. Have a DC day, everybody, and take care.